Support for 100 Watts and a Wire is brought to you by 100wattsandawire.com. To subscribe to the show, simply click the RSS feed or subscribe wherever you get your podcast. When you visit, apply for your free 100 Watts ID and learn how you can become a sustaining member. Click the Donate page and pick the option that works best for you. We've got a traveling toolkit, 100 Watts and Wire gear, and activity days with prizes. That's 100wattsandawire.com. Heard it, worked it, logged it. It is time to get the transceiver that is best suited for your lifestyle. ICOM offers a variety of high-performance and innovative products. Visit icomamerica.com amateur and make the most out of contest season. And BioNO Power, offering the best performance lithium iron phosphate batteries for your ham radios. Visit BioNOPower.com. That's B I O E N N O P O W E R.com. Or contact dealers nationwide. And SNS Engineering, an engineering design firm specializing in hardware and industrial design. From concept to production, we have a range of 19-inch rack mount solutions for Elecraft, ICOM, and Kenwood radios. Also available are tabletop aluminum racks to streamline your installation for desktop use. Custom designs are our specialty. Visit us online at snsengineering.com. And now, from Grid Square Echo Mike 48, this is 100 Watts and a Wire. Yes, sir. Hello. My name is Christian. My call sign is Kilo Zero, Sierra Tango Hotel. How you doing? I got to tell you, there's a lot going on on the radio, and I I, I have not uh, been able to work. Just haven't been able to do it. I'm hearing stuff, a lot of good stuff, and this week, you know, the uh, September 11th station, I will make sure I get myself in the seat to thank the first responders. 18 years, 18 years, and I still, I'm telling my children now, see how life does you? This is the intersection of life and amateur radio. And I'm telling my daughters about this day, where I was and what was happening. I was in Philadelphia. I've mentioned it before on the show, but, you know, we get new listeners come around. And each of you could tell me precisely what you were doing that day when you heard where you were. And I was working nights in Philadelphia, WMMR, and uh, woke up in the morning, clicked on the the television. We had the television back then. You turned it on with a big gigantic knob. Just, just kidding. I think we had remotes. And uh, you know, it was everything that you've read it to be, everything you've heard it to be, or everything you lived through. It, it was, and we were geographically positioned. So we heard fighter jets going up and down from, they must have been going from New York across Philadelphia um, back to D.C. And, uh, it, you know, it was just surreal. It was surreal. And um, for many of us who lived through that time, it put some things in perspective for us. It certainly did for me, you know. Kind of like, yeah, you know what, let's, uh, let's move on with the plans. Let's get the plans moving. Let's get it together. And uh, sh- soon after, you know, I got married and, um, and moved out of Philadelphia. It had nothing to do with Philadelphia. It had more to do with the plans, you know, what we intended to do back here uh, in Missouri and the uh, homestead. It just seemed to put one of those kind of, uh, yeah, let's get on with it type of things. Let me check something real quick. Okay. That's fine. I hope you're doing okay, and I hope you get to hear the uh, 9-11 special event station. Uh, It will be uh, this week. You should hear it this week. I listen for it all the time, and I make sure I pay my respects. And there's some other things happening that I just just couldn't get a hold of, couldn't do it. Route 66 is happening right now. I hear him come up, I see him spotted, and it's just so busy. Just so busy, man. That's what happens. 
That's how it happens when you're living life by the drop. Thank you, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Ah, oh, miss him too. Big announcement this week. It is the 100 watts in a wire fallout. It will be happening on October the 11th through the 13th. The 11th through the 13th. Please mark your calendars for that CQ fallout. Any band, any mode, any time. And you can learn more about this at our website at 100 Watts and wire.com click on activities and everything i'm going to say will be there for you all right zero hundred utc on october 11th through 2359 utc on october 23rd that is roughly seven o'clock at night on thursday evening for me all the way up until one minute before 7 p.m and the Sunday evening net on October the 13th. And that will be our fallout. Now, if you have a portable station, for me, this began uh, when I was looking for a time to, like, you know, one last hurrah. I talked about my schedule. I've got a young family, and they come first. That's it. These schedules, they come first. And scheduling time to get into the seat, you know, was a, a smart thing for me. I couldn't always even participate in field day. I can't do Route 66. I'm just like, you know, whatever. And uh, it's family first. And that's what you do. But one last hurrah. I put it on the schedule. And uh, it's one last chance for me and maybe for you, too, to get out and get portable if you can. If you have a portable station, you can activate from anywhere. State park, local park, go up on a summit, go out on an island, do what you want to do. And if you can't go portable, maybe you've got a friend who is going to go portable. Team up. Go ahead. Have fun. Get out there. And the camaraderie of these things are are cool, too. But if you can't do any of this, not a problem. You can work from the comfort of your own shack. We want to try to exercise ourselves, our gear, and get on the air. Practice uh, that antenna, see what that antenna will do. You've been making an antenna. You didn't get to pull it out during the field day. So, you know, try it during the fallout. Treat it like it is something. Maybe it's an emergency situation. The exchange will be simple, friends. Give your call sign if you have a 100 watts ID, your state, maybe province or DX country, and a true signal report. You know, let people know how they're doing, how that antenna is really doing. We don't need to do, do the 5-9. I, I get it. I, it's fine. Give a true signal report, though. Let them know. And I mentioned the 100 watts and a wire ID. The 100 watt ID. And very simple. Go to our gathering page and fill out a simple form name and call sign. And within a few days... One will be sequentially issued to you. It'll hit the website sometime after. Remember, the numbers are issued sequentially. A human being who is very busy will send you the email to let you know your numbers and update the web page uh, as time permits. You don't need a 100-watt ID uh, to participate, but you can share those if you have them. They're kind of fun to collect. Years ago, there was a uh, listener in our community that decided he was going to collect 100 100 watt IDs. You know, this hobby is what you make of it. And he was a a man who traveled on the road. He was a truck driver. And this is kind of a game he wanted to play. So there you go, you can share that if you have it. If not, you still have time to request one. Now one of the big uh, motivating factors of doing this. I know sometimes it's like, you know, sitting down and calling CQ is kind of strange. People are like, I don't, I'm not really that guy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm that guy sometimes. I may not just sit down to call CQ to make a contact. It's just that I think it's a timing thing. And in, in a few years, maybe I'll get better at this. I don't know. But this gives me a reason to get in the chair is the random drawing. Now, this year to qualify for the random drawing because the prize list for me is pretty sick. Sick in a good way, man. I would like you to make at least 25 contact points. Let me explain. Each contact will count as one point. We're going to use the honor system. 
Stations can earn five points for working a special op station. What I mean about that, if you work me, five points. Don't try to work me twice. Just do it once. Move on. So K0STH, uh, Karen Eve Murray from Amateur Radio Newsline. She's Kilo Delta 2 Golf United Tango. KD2GUT is another special op. Kilo India 9 Whiskey. Ian is another special op. And W7UDI. Each of these stations, and maybe I'll find another one to add, and if I do, I'll let you know about it. We've got a month between now. Work any of us, get yourself five points, okay? You want to get to a total of 25. Fill out the form on the page, on the website. You're going to submit your totals. Don't forget to spot yourself and others while you're working. You can do that on Facebook or our Twitter page. Let them know where you're at. Put them on your own personal social media. I'd like for you to share this out. Uh, Parks on the Air is interested in doing some stuff with us. Uh, Summits on the Air will announce it. Uh, Islands on the Air. So people hopefully will get out and be active and be on the air. And if you can't, uh, perhaps over that weekend you'll be able to work some of these stations. Try to get 25 contact points, okay? Because the prizes are pretty sick. The prizes are pretty sick. The uh, prizes will be mailed from the companies. And I will pick the winners one week after. When the contest, well, it's not a contest. When the activity closes, give one week and I'll pick the winners and announce them on the show. So you got a week to submit your totals. The honor system. Who are we if we don't have honor? Prizes, a chameleon antenna, the 3X MCOM 3P. Sick. MFJ is going to donate the 904H portable HF antenna tuner. Very portable setup. A lot of my sponsors are very portable oriented. Radio Waves is going to give two prizes, a 40 meter double bazooka and a DX40 off-center fed dipole. CQ Magazine will give six three-year digital edition subscriptions. Six three-year digital... What's going on my voice? I'm getting choked up over the CQ. Six three-year digital edition subscriptions. Comet. Comet. Welcome, Comet. Comet's going to give the CAA 500 Mark II SWR analyzer. So you've got an SWR analyzer, the antenna tuner up above, several antennas, and PowerFilm Solar, a 30-watt foldable solar panel, and a 12-volt adapter and Anderson power poles. Okay, now you've got a solar panel, the antenna, SWR analyzer, antenna tuner, several antennas. Alpha antenna said, wait, we'd like, to den- uh, we'd like to donate the hex antenna with an HD tripod. Are you listening to me? Put this on your calendars, October 11th through the 13th, and make 25 contacts. Finally, at this point, maybe something else will come along, but I can't believe the prize list this year. bio the uh, 12-amp-hour battery and charger. So now you've got several antennas, the antenna tuner, the S- SWR analyzer. You've got uh, a subscription to CQ Magazine. You've got a solar panel and the 12-volt lithium battery. Who loves you? Who loves you? That's right. That's right. Take a look at the website, 100wattsandawire.com. Mark yourself down for the 100 watts and a wire fallout. Get on the air. Get out if you can. Make some contacts. And perhaps you will win one of those most excellent prizes from our sponsors. And we'll talk about this uh, as we get a little bit closer. But I need you to share this out. Share it out. People listen to podcasts in different ways and at different times. If they're traveling on a plane or train or an automobile or a boat, whatever, 
on their lawnmowers. People are in transit. They listen at different times. I want them to see this on the social media. So please share out this show. Please share out this information. All right. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll come back here. And uh, we've got some other things I want to talk about. This is just wonderful that we've, uh, we've got this cool thing going. I got a lot on the plate. Uh, but uh, let's see what else what I want to do I also want to tell I got an activation we're going to play some audio from an activation Doug uh, Kilo Bravo 8 Mike uh, provided us an activation he went on with his family a wonderful piece of audio he shared with me and we'll take a break and we'll come back and do that next in a land where we're all 20 over this is 100 watts and a wire brothers and sisters of the Hamily make the most out of contest season with one of these ICOM radios. How about the IC7610? The SDR every ham wants. This high-performance SDR has the ability to pick out the faintest of signals even in the presence of stronger adjacent signals. The IC7610 is a direct sampling software-defined radio that will change the world's definition of an SDR transceiver. Dual Digi Select, RF Direct Sampling System, an independent dual receiver. And let's not forget the IC7300. Changing the way entry-level HF is designed. Visit icomamerica.com slash amateur to learn more about all ICOM radios. And ABR Industries. Struggling to find the right coax for your equipment? ABR Industries can help you find the right solution that won't break your piggy bank. We offer professionally terminated assemblies using high-quality PL259, N-Type, SMA, BNC, and many other connectors. Custom lengths and specialized labeling is available, too. All products are individually tested, and most orders ship within one to two days. For more information, visit abrind.com or call 713-492-2722. Little Pistols and Big Guns. This is 100 watts and a wire. Okay, so much to talk about. I want to thank the Hurricane WatchNet. I feel that they do a wonderful job and a service. And uh, from what I was doing, and I was listening to a lot of radio during uh, Hurricane Dorian, and I didn't hear a lot of malicious interference there. Now, they may have reported some on their own. Heaven knows I didn't listen to all of that coverage, but I want them to know that I appreciate it. That's a lot of work. That was a big storm. And now we, uh, we have to think about the first responders and the people who were affected by that uh, tremendous storm. But uh, well done to the Hurricane WatchNet and those folks. I listened on 40 meters a lot, and sometimes when conditions were really rough, I'd listen on 20, but I was definitely listening, so I applaud the effort uh, there. And the, uh, the Bahamas, I mean, geez. And things will come out, you know, uh, as we go and the uh you just have to feel for them i mean 51 hours of being just grinded up i mean it was just too much just too much man i uh, got doug's activation coming up we're going to listen to i want to congratulate victoria ve zero js 339 days she sailed around the world congratulations to her that's incredible uh congratulations to flex radio uh, they've got a $36 million development deal with the Air Force. They're partnering with Raytheon. $36 million. And I think that means, you know, well, yes, it means a lot of money there, but a lot of research, and I think it could help uh, us uh, normal folk, us normal hams, as they get into developing new things. You know, hopefully they'll find some great technology for us. Uh, and that's a family business, so I'm uh, I'm excited for them. Congratulations to my friends at Flex Radio. Uh, what else do we want to say? We got Route 66 is on the air. Um, so if you're working those stations, good on you. The uh, Fire Prevention Week is coming up, October the sixth through the twelfth. Kind of a theme this year. Not every hero wears a cape. Plan and practice your escape. That's uh, going to happen right through. Almost through the complete um, 100 watts and a wire fallout, but that's all right. Stop in and say hello to them as well. Uh, KD1 DD, you know, what is uh, what is Amanda's call sign? K1 DDN, I think that's it. 
I'll remind me that the WWV is celebrating its 100th anniversary. There's a special event October. No, it's um, September the 28th through October the 2nd. The WWV 100th anniversary special event station. Listen for them as well. So many great things are going on in the uh, the air. I hope you can get on and have a lot of fun. Uh, if you like discounts, uh, we mentioned Power Film Solar giving away a solar panel as part of the fallout. They have decided to give 10% at any time, any time, uh, by using a code 100W discount. So essentially, if you go to um, Power Film Solar's website, uh, decide you're going to pop on a product over there, use the code 100W discount, 100 W discount get 10% off any of your purchases. Oh boy, I think we did it there. All right, so some time ago there was an activation plan. It didn't work out the way Doug had planned. He had to cancel, but he ended up having a great activation of, I think it's Mackinac Island. Mackinac Island he took his family with him, and I want to share that audio with you. This is Doug Kilo Bravo 8 Mike. Okay, my name is Doug, and my call sign is KB8M, Kilo Bravo 8 Mike. Now this was originally supposed to be about activating Lime Island State Park off Michigan's UP, but due to a trail of unplanned events, I'm going to share what turned out to be my activation of Mackinac Island State Park instead. Now I've been involved with the Parks on the Air program, or POTA, for some time now. Now POTA is a program that is similar to the NPOTA, N-P-O-T-A, that the ARRL held some time ago. You go out to state parks and set up your equipment. These folks that do that are called activators. And the chasers are the folks that get on the radio and see if they can make contact with these uh, remote stations. It's a lot of fun to get out in nature and get out of the shack and operate remotely. Stations can contact each other as well, which is known as a park-to-park. Mackinac Island State Park hadn't been activated yet, so it was considered an ATNO, A-T-N-O, or an all-time new one. This would also count for Michigan State Parks on the air. Now, Michigan was hosting a three-year event from 2017 through 2019 to activate every Michigan State Park. Mackinac Island was on the list, but was shown as restricted and not to work it. I contacted Michigan DNR, who put me in contact with Michigan's Parks Department. After some conversation regarding an activation and emails detailing what and how minimal equipment would be used and nothing in the trees, and I gave them uh, some photos of, the, of my station, I did receive permission to activate the island. So they recommended Fort Holmes, which was the highest point on the island. We made our mini DX journey to the UP and Mackinac Island State Park. So I hope you enjoy the audio from our trip. Okay. Arrived at the Starline Ferry with about a 80 pound pack. And we'll we'll see how this goes here. Everybody's excited. I'm gonna try and keep recording and do some photography while we're here. And we're on the Starline Ferry. Oh my! Heading oh, wow. out Look at that. across the channel to oh, Mackinac oh. Island. It's a rainbow in the water. Oh, yeah. And we're going along the coast of Mackinac Island, looking at some of these gorgeous houses. It's all pine trees. Up the top, you can see the. Beautiful homes that people live in year round. Just incredible. When you come here with the it's a nice sunny day, slightly overcast. It's supposed to be about 78 degrees. Should be awesome for the activation. Coming into view now is the Grand Hotel. Some, some pictures of that. Okay, so we neglected to go elected to go without bikes at ten dollars an hour we're just gonna walk it here winding our way through the crowds I thought it was crowded at 
Gatlinburg. This is kind of cool though. Bikes and people everywhere. A lot of fudge shops. Coming up to another road here, we're trying to find our way up to Fort Holmes. And we'll have to see, uh, see what it takes to get up there. Okay. You want to take the map, Wyatt? Okay. After walking through here, walking up Market Street, we th think we got our bearings with the map. Looks like we're about a half mile. And we just saw the uphill that we're going to need in order to take to the fort. It's kind of intimidating. All these houses. At least everything's paved and it's in the shade. Yeah. I have a feeling we'll have some people watching this today. Which would be uh, fine. A lot of little inns and things. Walking up behind Fort Mackinac. At least all these roads are paved, but I'm finding I'm way out of shape. <laughs> we have a lot of horse-drawn carriage rides. We just had our first first glimpse of Fort Holmes. We were going to take the trail, but we've decided to go up the paved road instead. Nice breeze. At least it's shady. Sorry, we're out of shape, buddy. And now we're on the sorry, we're stairway up to Fort Holmes. Yeah, it's wooden stairs and a boardwalk. And thank goodness you come up here a little ways and there's a bench to sit on. So we're going to take a stop here. Okay, we're just about to the top of the stairs. What's that? What is you can see the flag of Fort Holmes. Yeah, just about there. I'm almost there. Oh, here we go. You're good? Oh, there's a park bench up here. There's a Oh, that's pretty. Picnic table. Dibs. <laughs> Here we are at Fort Holmes. Oh, wow. Holy cow. This is awesome. You want to work here? Yeah. I can do this. Oh, that'd be perfect. Whoo! Wow. This is Look gorgeous. Gorgeous up here. Victor Echo 3, Lima Delta Tango. Three. Victor Echo 3, Lima Delta Tango. You are 59 into K1517 QSL. Roger, I'm glad to hear you, and thanks very much for the island. You're also 5 and 9 here in London, Ontario. Be looking for you all morning, so thanks again for the island. You're welcome. Thanks for, thanks for chasing. QRZ, this is Kilo Bravo 8 Mike from K1517. Parks on the air. Kilo 8, Romeo Delta Golf. This is Kilo Bravo 8. Mike, you are 5 and 9 in 2K, 1517. QSL? Uh, QSL, the uh, call sign is Kilo 8, Romeo Delta Golf. Uh, kilowatt 8, Romeo Delta Golf. And I've got you 5-5 five, five into uh, Troy, Michigan. Over. Roger, I got you 5-5 five, five, and I got the call sign is Kilo 8, Romeo Delta Golf. QSL, thanks for the chasing. 7-3, uh, thanks for activating. Have fun. QRZ, Kilo Bravo 8 Mike. Kilo Golf Station, come again. Kilo Golf 4, Romeo Mike, Lima. Kilo Golf 4, Romeo Mike, what was the last one? Lima, Lima. Mike Lima. Kilo Golf 4, Romeo Mike Lima, you are 5 and 5, 5 and 5 into K1517, QSL. Roger, you're a 
Oh, nice QRP. Thank you. Uh, good signal coming in, That's and we got Virginia. you in the log. 73 and QRZ. This is Kilo Bravo 8 Mike. Kilo Charlie 3, Kilo Sierra Charlie. Kilo Charlie 3, Kilo Sierra Charlie. You are 5 and 7, 5 and 7 into K1517 QSL. QSL, you are 555. Got your five and five. Thanks for chasing. We'll just reverse. Seventy-three. This is Kilo Bravo Eight Mike QRZ from fifteen seventeen. Quebec. Uh, Quebec station. Uh, doubled with you. Come back again. Kilo Eight Hotel Quebec. Kilo Eight Hotel Quebec. You are a strong five and nine. Strong five and nine into K fifteen seventeen QSL. Yeah, QSL, thanks a lot, Doug. Appreciate Mackinac Island. Uh, thanks for putting that on the air. You're 5'9 plus 10 uh, in the southern part of the state near Adrian. Name is Chris. Ah, I know exactly where you are, Chris. We're actually from White Pigeon, Michigan, so I know where you're at there. Thanks for uh, chasing and 73. Yeah, good luck out there. Thanks for the Atno. So you betcha. QRZ, this is Kilo Bravo 8 Mike from K1517. Whiskey 8, Zulu Sierra Tango, is that correct? Roger, Roger. 5-9 in the Mitten, down in the Mitten. Got your 5-9 into Benton. You are 5-9 and nine into Michigan. I'm in the Mitten, in the middle of Michigan. <laughs> right, I mean 5-9 into 1517. What's your call one more time? Whiskey 8, Zulu Sierra Tango. I will be doing your log, sir. Got you there. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to sending it to you. 73, thanks for chasing. QRZ, this is Kilo Bravo 8 Mike from 1517, Parks on the Air. Kilo Zero Alpha Tango Zulu, I believe, is that correct? QSL, QSL, Kilo Zero Alpha Tango Zulu, yep. 5555 into Missouri, Mike QSL. Roger, Roger, you are also 55 into 1517. You betcha. Thanks for being there. Thanks for chasing. Victor Echo 2 Golf Tango, you are 5 and 3 QSL. Roger the 5-3, 5-3 QSL, you're 5-5, 55 in Quebec. Thank you. Thanks for the 5-5. Thanks for chasing. 73 QRZ, this is Kilo Bravo 8 Mike from K1517. Kilo 8, Papa Romeo Kilo. Kilo 8, Papa Romeo Kilo. This, you are 5 and 9, 5 and 9 into 1517, QSL. QSL, 5 9, Michigan. Okay, thanks for the 5 9. Thanks he for chasing. He just got us there. 73, this is Kilo Bravo 8 Mike. Alpha Bravo 3, Victor Echo. Alpha Bravo 3, Victor Echo, this is Kilo Bravo 8 Mike from 1517. You are a strong 5 and 9, 5 and 9, QSL. Uh, QSL, you're 5 9, you are also 5 9 into Pennsylvania. <laughs> Oh, nice signal from Pennsylvania. Thanks for chasing. Wow. And 73. QRZ, this is Kilo Bravo 8 Mike from 1517. Was that right? Yeah, Alpha Bravo 3, the correct one. I can't believe we activated it. We did it! Yay! Good job, Dad. CQ, CQ, Kilo Bravo 8 Mike from Kilo 1517 for Parks on the Air. Heading back down from. Fort Holmes and had a successful activation of the island on 40 and 20 meters. We had a lot of calls come in. Appreciate everybody that did that. It's a lot of fun letting my wife, Kitty 8 CXS, let her uh, scribe for me and my boy Wyatt decide was uh, instrumental in taking pictures. So then we can look down here, looking up the hill back from where we were. We're gonna take the bike trail back. That's the tree we sat under. It's where life crosses with ham radio. So here you go, Chris. I hope this, uh, this works for you. <laughs> this is beautiful out here. It's been overcast slightly. Nice sunny day. We were in the shade the whole time. Had a nice picnic table up by Fort Holmes. Had a lot of people come stop through and ask about what we were doing. About the ham radio it works on the air. What it takes to activate. 
The butterflies though, the monarchs, they're just everywhere. Back on the ferry, heading back to Mackinac, or back from Mackinac, back to St. Agnes. Gorgeous view of the bridge, the wind's cool. Everyone's dragging that's on the ferry, it's really cool to watch. Everyone's so excited and full of energy when they go to the island, and everyone here is about ready just to keel over and die. And it's like, it's been a good day. We've had a good activation, and we've had fun running around Mackinac. But it's time to go back to San Ignis and back to the hotel. KBM, QRT. You can hear him totally fine. I don't have a problem with the wind noise and that sort of thing. Man, I sit at home and I listen through some crap. And when we're doing like a, a net night, oh, Lord, you wonder if your ears are going to start bleeding. I get ear fatigue. But thanks so much to Doug. Kilo Bravo 8, Mike, and he got to share that activation, uh, his love for radio and be with his family at the same time, be outdoors. That's kind of what it is all about, man, for a lot of us. We love our open spaces, don't we? We love to take our stuff and get outside if we can. So keep in mind the fallout. October the 11th through the 13th, check the website 100wattsandawire.com. Click activities. You'll learn all about it. Mark it on your calendars. Anytime, any band, any mode, whatever you want to do. And all the information is there for you. All right, we're going to wrap things up here. One final note of the net. We're going to get ourselves together as we head into the fall. Summer is just really tough. Life and storms and dad duties and mom duties sometimes get in the way. And they make for some inconsistent summers. We're trying to come out of summer uh, with a nice plan to be there every Sunday, 7 o'clock Central Time. And if you have a station... I can run a little bit of power in this muck, and that'd be very helpful. You can drop us a line. My email is uh, good at the website. Go to my website and drop me a line. It's easy, Christian at 100 watts and at wire.com. I'll turn you over to Steve, W7UDI, who's net control manager, and we'll get some stations in play, and we'll have some consistency. We're not going to jump around the bands. We like to do 40 meters uh, sometimes in the summer, tw- you know, 20 is really nice. And then, you know, in the winter, uh, 80 meters is nice. But we don't start one place and end up on another one. And we just try to pick it uh, the best one. But in these rough conditions, it helps to have a little bit of power. So if you're interested in serving as a net control operator, uh, drop us a line. All right, friends, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And by all means, if you can, please try and stay above the noise. To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.